Um, I obviously moved here from Ireland because of the TV show The Hills. <laughs> I wish that was a joke. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm kind of dumb. I could do that. I've been here in LA like six years. I've yet to suck a dick. Usually gets a bigger round of applause, but this is not a dick sucking crowd, I see. <laughs> no, I just haven't sucked the right dick yet. That's why I'm not headlining tonight. <laughs> you're kind of a slow crowd, I like it. <laughs> Takes you're like, what? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> No, the main reason I moved here is because American women, you're fucking unreal. Any American women? Woo! We got one. One. You're unreal because you give blowjobs. No blowjobs in Ireland. They're banned. Everything sexual is banned in Ireland. Wanking. Wanking in Ireland is gay. It's banned and it's, it is kind of gay. You're pulling a dick. That's fucking gay. If dudes, although we were like, no, it's not gay, it's our own dick. If dudes could give themselves blowjobs, they'd be like, oh, it's not gay, it's my own dick. <laughs> <laughs> Masturbating is gay. What else is banned? Condoms. When I go home, I have to smuggle condoms home. So I swallow a condom full of condoms. <laughs> Sit in the plane and be like, don't burst. Yeah, but blow I got one blowjob, like when I was 21, and she didn't know what the fuck was going on. I had no clue. I'd only read about them in a book about blowjobs. I was like, oh, they sound lovely. <laughs> so it was my birthday, and I'm drunk at her house, and she's like, sit down, you ready? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> she was like, here I go. And I didn't know what to do with my hands, so I was just like... <laughs> so I didn't want to touch her head, but she just got her hair done. I was like, yeah. But then she just put her mouth over it like she was trying to thaw out a window. She just went... <gasps> she liked that? I was like, eh, you got a blow on it too, I think. She was like... <sighs> then it was my turn. I just got on my knees and started humming. She was about five feet away from me, though, so I don't think I did anything. It's a lot of bad sex in Ireland is what I'm trying to say. Like having sex with an Irish woman is like you're at mass. It's quiet, it's solemn, it's very respectful. It's a lot like this. <laughs> People just waiting for you to fuck off. There's a priest in the corner for some reason, Father O'Shaughnessy, he's like, go on, give it to her. <laughs> There's no dirty talk either, it's very silent. It's nods and coughs and pardon. The first time I came here and had sex with an American girl, she was like, oh, what are you into? And I was like, fucking this? This is unreal. She's like, no, it needs to be more. She stuck a finger in my ass. <laughs> I blacked out. <laughs> I woke up with that song. It's a whole new world. <laughs> she stuck another one in there and she's like, oh, do you like that, daddy? The truth came out. I said, I do, mommy. <laughs> Very unfortunate. I was having sex with a Mexican girl. She kept calling me Chulo. I was like, see, Chi Chi. She's like, do you like that poppy? You like a poppy? Tell me you like a poppy. I was like, a poppy in Ireland's a potato, so. <laughs> Mash it up, baby. <laughs> People can't get my name right either. It's Mark. It's a pretty fucking simple name. This one girl was like, oh, Merrick. I was like, Mark. She was like, Eric? I was like, no, Mark. She's like, oh, fuck me, Omar. <laughs> But then she got upset, she's like, that's not very Irish. And I was like, yeah, my real name is Paddy Potato. <laughs> I come from Potato Island. She was like, choke me, Paddy. I gave her the forearm choke by mistake. She passed out and I won. Very nice. <laughs>